Ever feel like the future just arrived overnight? That's the buzz from the East right now. China's latest innovation isn't just about shiny new gadgets. It's a full-scale rewrite of what's possible, bubbling up from labs and factories straight into the fabric of our global future. I'm talking about atoms being tamed for clean power and artificial intelligence that literally rolls up its sleeves to work. This is hands-on, boundary-pushing progress that promises to touch everything from the energy powering our cities to the cars in our driveways. Stick around as we connect the dots. And hey, for more deep dives into the tech shaping our world, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. You won't want to miss what's next. Imagine nuclear power without the scary parts. China has done it. They built a reactor that turns thorium into uranium. This is China's latest innovation in clean energy. It is a fourth generation system. It uses molten salt, not water. It runs at normal air pressure. This design is safer. It also produces very high heat. This heat can be used for industry or to make hydrogen. This is a strategic move. China has lots of thorium at home. It does not have much uranium. This tech could mean energy independence. This is a clear China latest breakthrough. The reactor is in Wuwei City. It is a two megawatt thermal machine. Construction started in 2020. In 2024, it loaded thorium fuel. This turned a lab idea into real engineering. The team from Shanghai made it happen. This project shows national collaboration. It is a big step for a low-carbon future. The reactor can work with wind and solar power. It fits into a bigger energy system. This system is both stable and clean. Think about that, a nuclear reactor that is inherently safe. It uses a fuel that is abundant. This solves two problems at once. Safety and supply security are both addressed. This is how China's latest innovation tackles global challenges. The molten salt coolant is key. It allows the reactor to run very hot. This improves efficiency. China thinks differently about progress. It tailors tech to local soil. This is China's latest innovation strategy. It is not a top-down order. It is a smart match of strength to place. Over five years, this plan boosted new productive forces. Different regions play different roles. Some areas focus on smart factories. Others develop digital platforms. Research money flowed into key fields. Artificial intelligence, semiconductors, biotech, and clean energy all grew. This is a China latest breakthrough in economic planning. Traditional industries got upgrades too. They became more efficient, they also became cleaner. Regional cooperation strengthened supply chains. Coastal and inland areas grew together. Green projects expanded rapidly. Solar farms, wind turbines, and electric vehicles are everywhere. Energy storage solutions popped up. These changes make the economy resilient. They create better jobs. They raise the value of products. This positions China for long-term growth. The global economy is competitive. This approach gives China an edge. It is about using local advantages. A region with wind resources builds turbines. A city with tech talent builds AI chips. This is practical innovation. It is China's latest innovation in action. It reshaped the economic landscape completely. Now growth is more balanced. It is also more sustainable. The green economy is not a side project. It is central to the plan. Electric vehicle sales are booming. Renewable power capacity is massive. This all ties together. It creates a strong, flexible system. This strategy ensures stability. It prepares China for the coming decades. This is a model for development. It shows how to grow without harming the planet. This is the real China latest breakthrough. It is a holistic view of progress. This approach nurtures self-reliance by building on what each locality already has. It transforms local challenges into unique springboards for advancement. 
For instance, arid regions might pioneer water-saving agricultural tech while humid areas develop hydropower innovations. This strategy also weaves a national network of complementary strengths. Infrastructure connects these hubs, creating a resilient web of production and knowledge. It's a dynamic system where local success fuels national progress. China is building the planet's largest green hydrogen complex. This is China's latest innovation in renewable energy. The Songyuan Hydrogen Energy Industrial Park is in Jilin. Phase 1 will soon make green ammonia. Green ammonia comes from green hydrogen. It only needs water, wind, sun, and air. There are no resource limits. This facility has a huge solar array. It is 50 megawatts. It also has a 590 megawatt wind farm. This power runs electrolyzers. Electrolyzers split water into hydrogen and oxygen. China leads in making these devices. Six of the world's top 10 manufacturers are Chinese. Sourcing them is easy. This is a China latest breakthrough in scale. Demand for green ammonia will explode. Experts see over 100 million tons by 2035. This complex will have 3 gigawatts of total capacity. It will produce 800,000 tons of green ammonia and methanol each year. That is massive. <laughs> green ammonia can fuel ships and trucks. It can generate electricity. It is very versatile. This project shows serious commitment. China is investing heavily in this future. This innovation cuts carbon emissions deeply. It promotes pure renewable energy. The integration is seamless. Wind and sun create power. Power makes hydrogen. Hydrogen becomes ammonia. Ammonia is easy to store and move. This solves a big energy storage problem. The steel industry is getting a green heart. China launched a first-of-its-kind project. It fully converts coke oven gas into clean energy. This is China's latest innovation for heavy industry. The project is in Lingyuan City. Coke oven gas is a waste product for making steel. Usually, it is not fully used. Now, it is transformed completely. New separation and synthesis technologies turned it into three products. Liquefied natural gas, liquid ammonia, and hydrogen. The conversion rate is 100%. This is a China latest breakthrough in circular economy. The process uses a special molecular sieve. This sieve separates gases in the exhaust. It absorbs impurities. Pure hydrogen passes through tiny pores. This yields high-purity hydrogen. Hydrogen is vital for high-tech industries. Electronics, aerospace, and advanced chemicals need it. LNG is the cleanest fossil fuel. Liquid ammonia is a key industrial material. This innovation turns pollution into treasure. China makes a lot of coke oven gas, about 210 billion cubic meters each year. If just 30% is used this way, carbon emissions drop by 45 million tons annually. Industrial output value jumps by over 100 billion yuan. Get ready for an electric vehicle revolution. China has built its first large-capacity all-solid-state battery line. This is China's latest innovation in energy storage. Guangzhou Automobile Group finished the line. Now, the batteries are in production testing. These batteries use solid electrolytes. They do not use liquid. This means much higher energy density. Electric vehicles will go farther. They will charge faster. They will be much safer. Heat resistance improves dramatically. Solid electrolytes can handle over 300 degrees Celsius. Liquid ones fail below 200 degrees. This is a China latest breakthrough for transportation. The batteries are automotive grade. Their capacity exceeds 60 amp hours. This is ready for mass production. Energy density is almost double current batteries. A car with a 500 kilometer range could go over 1,000 kilometers. That is a game changer. The sun has a new watcher? China commissioned the world's first mid-infrared solar telescope. This is China's latest innovation in space science. It is called AIMS. It sits in Qinghai at 4,000 meters altitude. This telescope fills a global gap. No one could observe the sun's magnetic fields in mid-infrared before. Now, China can. This is a China latest breakthrough for space weather forecasting. The telescope monitors solar flares and coronal mass ejections. These solar storms can disrupt satellites and power grids on Earth. This tech helps us prepare. It gives early warnings. The telescope uses a 12.3 micron wavelength. It measures magnetic fields directly. Its accuracy exceeds 10 gauss. 
This solves a problem that troubled scientists for a century. Measuring solar magnetic fields was hard. This innovation makes it precise. The telescope has an off-axis optical design. Its core parts are all made in China. Detector chips and vacuum cooling systems are domestic. This boosts independent innovation. A researcher explained the advantage. The mid-infrared band gives a stronger signal from magnetic fields. So measurements are more sensitive and accurate. A new shadow is in the sky. The CH-7 stealth drone just had its first flight. This is China's latest innovation in aerospace technology. The China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics designed and built it. It is a high-altitude, high-speed drone. It uses a flying wing design. This shape makes it stealthy. It is hard for radar to detect. The drone carries advanced mission payloads. Optical and infrared sensors are on board. This allows long flight times. It can operate at very high altitudes. Its mission capabilities are robust. This drone is suited for target monitoring. It provides critical information support. This is a China latest breakthrough in unmanned systems. Upcoming tests will evaluate its flight performance. Engineers will check how the payloads work. This drone represents a leap forward. It showcases China's growing prowess in aviation. The drone was built domestically. It shows self-reliance in a key area. Aerospace technology is critical for national security. Drones also have civilian uses. They can monitor disasters. They can map the environment. The CH-7 is a military-grade platform. It enhances defense capabilities significantly. This is China's latest innovation in safeguarding borders. Robots are now athletes. Jingzhe Taishan is a humanoid robot. It won first place in a 100-meter race. This happened at the World Humanoid Robot Games. This is China's latest innovation in robotics. Yobotics in Jinan developed this robot. It shows amazing stability. Even when pushed or kicked, it stays upright. This is a China latest breakthrough in balance and control. Yobotics also makes quadruped robots. Those are used in many fields already. But the humanoid form is special. It mimics the human body. This robot is designed to serve people. It is not here to replace humans. It is here to boost productivity. The company chairman explained this well. Robots create more opportunities for work and leisure. This innovation is about assistance and augmentation. Robots can take on dangerous jobs. They can help in healthcare settings. They can work in factories alongside people. This robot winning a race is symbolic. It shows progress in mobility and agility. Humanoid robots are complex machines. They require advanced engineering in mechanics, sensors, and software. China is excelling in this area. This is China's latest innovation, making robots practical and useful. The games were a global competition. China's robot came out on top. Artificial intelligence has grown a body. An industrial embodied AI system is now live at a chemical plant. This is China's latest innovation in smart manufacturing. The system is in Yichang City. Supcon Technology developed it. It is deployed at a Xingfa Group facility. This AI is fully integrated into physical systems. It does not just think, it acts. It perceives the environment. It analyzes data. It makes decisions. It then executes physical actions. This is a China latest breakthrough for industrial automation. The plant's control center has giant screens. They show thousands of real-time data points. But the room is quiet. Fewer engineers are needed. The AI manages operations autonomously. It adjusts valves, controls temperatures, and optimizes flows. This cuts operational costs. It streamlines the entire workflow. Productivity gets a major boost. Human operators can focus on strategic tasks. This innovation is truly game-changing. It transforms how factories run, Traditionally, manual control was constant. Now AI handles the routine. This is the essence of smart manufacturing. China is embracing it fully. This system shows the real potential of AI. It is not just code on a server. It is embodied. It interacts with the physical world directly. This is the future of industry. Factories become more efficient and safer.